Welcome to our uh, practice question, example, diploma type question on uh, a damaged neuron or a, uh, a nerve track. Uh, so again, very typical, that's why we're doing this video. You see this question often enough. If you take a look at this diagram here, they're talking about a, neural, a neuron pathway. So when we see this diagram, we should be familiar with some of the information that's on here already in that. So when we take a look at that, we know that, and they're telling us, that this is a cross-section of a spinal cord. So if we see a diagram like that, it's probably a good idea to start labeling some of the diagrams. So you have number one, you have the skin. You can see right in here that this is probably our receptor. And just take a couple of minutes just to fill it in really quick. And we know that there are certain type of neurons that take messages from the skin or the receptors to the central nervous system, in this case being the spinal cord. They're not showing the brain here in that. So we know that this type of neuron right here is probably a sensory neuron. Okay. Now this piece here, if you look in the notes, I'm talking about page 27, topic 11. Uh, spinal cord and brain, central nervous system. Uh, this is where we've talked about this. So in this, this is called the dorsal nerve track. Okay, and it's taking that sensory neuron and that information and it's taking it to number three right here. It's a small little neuron that's found in the spinal cord and the central nervous system. So of course that would make this a interneuron okay and just take some time to fill this out this one over here uh, v2 is uh, the ventral so underneath is the ventral dorsal like a dorsal fin on a fish is on top ventral is underneath the belly and of course that is a nerve tract as well within the spinal cord and that is going to be connected to this structure right here that's taking messages from the central nervous system to the muscle. And they already, already labeled this one as muscle. So that would make this one the motor neuron. Okay, so again, strategy, when you see a diagram like that, fill it in really quickly. It doesn't take you that long. Uh, and that's going, like I say, unlock some of the information coming up here. So if we take a look, here is the actual question. It's saying, if structure V2, I think that's seven, right, in uh, Roman numerals, is accidentally damaged or severed. So what they're saying is, is this is severed right here. Which of the following is most likely to occur? So this is going on the premise. If we take a look at this information here, just a quick little review. Again, this is from... Topic 11, page 27 of the notes, unit one notes. It talks about the dorsal. Now, sometimes this diagram talks about the dorsal root. Same thing, it's the dorsal nerve tract. And of course, it attaches the sensory, or also known as the afferent neuron, which brings information from the receptors, from the skin, pressure, any of that kind of stuff, to the spinal cord for interpretation. Okay, the one beneath, we already said, is the ventral. Now, sometimes they call it the ventral root but we know it to be the ventral nerve tract. And that attaches, as we said, the motor or the efferent neuron, and it's carrying messages from the spinal cord to the effectors, in this case, or in the diagram of the uh, practice question, uh, to the muscle. Uh, again, effectors can either be muscles or organs. So that's the quick little review. When we go back to that, again, what they're asking us is what happens if this was severed? And if this was severed, we take a look at the, some of the options here. We know that this is the ventral nerve tract, and it's connected to the motor neuron. So uh, in this case, it says loss of sensations of touch. Okay, uh, let's go over the different, uh, the different options here. The internon would not receive the impulse. Well, no, the neuron, uh, the interneuron right here would still re, uh, receive the impulse because the sensory neuron and the dorsal, again, this being the dorsal nerve tract is still intact. So it's still gonna receive the message. So that can't be true there. It says the effector would no longer, uh, would not, no longer respond, sorry guys. So the effector would no longer respond. 
So this is the effector right here, the muscle. That sounds pretty good, pretty good. And this one says the muscle would contract and not relax. Well, if there's no message because the ventral root is severed, there's no way that you're going to get the message to the muscle to contract. So that can't be true here. So if we take a look at, let's say, A and C, if that's what we narrowed it, loss of sensation of touch. So how do we get the sensation of touch? We get the skin receptor taking it via the sensory neuron to, or through the dorsal tract to the spinal cord. That's what gives us the sensation, but that's all intact. So the dorsal and the sensory neuron are both intact. So I think we can eliminate A, and that would leave us to C. The, uh, the effector would no longer respond. So if that ventral nerve track is severed, uh, it's almost the same thing as if the motor uh, neuron was severed. It's just not going to be able to send the message to the effector, in this case the muscle, and the muscle would not be able to respond. Uh, very typical question. Now again, it could be different. If you had a question where this was severed, or the dorsal nerve tract was severed, that message or that sensation of touch would never be able to be interpreted uh, by the spinal cord. So you would never get a message there and you would lose that sensation. So you will see questions like this. They'll give you a diagram similar to this, a cross section of a spinal cord showing the neuron pathway. And if any one of these severs, that would dictate uh, whether or not you're going to be able to feel the sensation or if you can feel the sensation, whether or not you're going to be able to uh, have the effector respond appropriately. Okay, again, any questions, give me an email and we can go over this some more. Thanks guys, bye.